All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in the box. And so I am going to invite you and ask you to come join me here at the front. And what we do in the sermon in a box is one of our kids puts something in a box, and then I try to figure out some way uh, that it teaches us something about God and His grace, His Word, about Jesus and the gospel. And so thank you, Victor, for putting something in the box this morning. We're going to look and see what Victor has brought us. Oh, my goodness. Ah! It's a, ah, it's a scary spider. Perfect for this month, for Halloween uh, that is approaching. That is a great scary spider. Hmm. It's funny. I, I remember we were talking at the, actually at the camping trip. Uh, someone had a spider on them and we were, we were talking about, are there spiders in the Bible? And I don't think there are. I could not remember. It, there are mentions of other bugs in the Bible, but... I can't remember any other. But you know what? There is a spider in one of my favorite stories ever. It's a story called Charlotte's Web. I bet some of you know it. And Charlotte is a very, very talented spider. And she can write the name of her, and she can write words that describe her friend in her web. She is so talented at spinning her web. And what Charlotte reminds me of it's kind of what God does for us in Jesus. He says things about us in Jesus. You know what he says about you? You know what God writes in his web? He says, you are loved. You are my child. You are precious to me. And so we're going to let spiders, even though they are scary, maybe also be comforting as we remember Charlotte this morning and as she reminds us of all the things that God writes about us in his web through Jesus.